so this vibrational reality gathers momentum we gave it a name because we want you to accept it as the reality that it is because this vibrational reality that we are calling your vibrational vortex or your vortex of reality or your vortex of creation we call it everything that we can think of in order to get you to accept that it exists see it no you don't you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it but it is a vibrational reality that in time you will be able to tune to and you will be able to recognize but we want you to know that it is the beginning of all things that you are deliberately creating all things that you desire will come from this and this vortex came from the life you lived so here's this vibrational reality becoming more and more and more and more and more because law of attraction says that it must so step two of the creative process is one ask step two is answer and that's how it is answered it's answered because law of attraction brings to it everything that you've asked for now think about it you've asked for so many things if someone said to you what have you put into your vortex most of you couldn't even begin to identify all of the incremental experiences that you have lived that have caused you to put wonderful things in that vortex and furthermore you really cannot identify them as they have mixed together in this perfect vibrational format with the attention that your inner being has given to them in other words we want to say to you we love you so much you don't even really know what's in your vortex but we know what's in there and we know that it's good and we know that you will know provided you do what we are calling step three of the creative process you got to chill out <laughs> you got to stop worrying about things you got to stop defending yourself and debating over things that don't matter you've got to stop being that negative tied up all wadded up person that's worried about stuff you got to be happy you got to be joyful you've got to know who you are you've got to trust yourself and others you have to be in the mode of appreciation you have to chill out you have to relax back into that knowing being that you were when you were born that all is well and that things really are working out for you and sometimes you're gonna have to work yourself back to that understanding because you've worked yourself away from it and you've got some vibrational habits that keep you from being the realizer of what's in your vortex but your vortex is bubbling it's becoming it's like a gestation period but it reaches a place where your creation is ready to be born out into the light out where you can experience it fully and when that happens if you are in the receptive mode if you are in the state of allowing if you are feeling good when that creation when your creation becomes ready you realize it and you say oh I just got the best idea or oh I know what I want you know that feeling Ooh, ooh, that's a really good idea and it remains a really good idea unless you bring the reality of its non-existence into the picture a new idea is always a new idea and a new idea has not been before and a new idea to you is your creation and you've got to take care of it just like you would a new baby You've got to be kind to it. You've got to expect good things for it. You've got to nurture it and tend to it and be aware of it. You can't just say, oh, you can't be because you've never been. I want money so that I can do wonderful things for myself and others in this world. You can't do that. Nobody in your family's ever had any money. What makes you think that you will have any money? Look how much money you've got. How much money do you have anyway? How much, how much, how much? These are the thoughts that are going through your mind. And that's not taking care of your baby. That's not taking care of the creation that you've just given birth to. The creation that law of attraction is supporting. You can't realize that into your experience if you are contradicting it with reality. So many of you have been trained to be objective, to face reality. And we say, you did not come to face reality. You came to create reality. You came to bounce off the reality that already exists. Put pieces of new ideas into your vibrational vortex. Allow law of attraction to stir it up and mix it up and compound it and add more to it and put the energy that creates worlds behind it and get it ready for you to realize it, you to become aware of it. And when that desire is born within you, we want you to know how much came before that. How much even before you came into your body how much ever since you've been in your body how much as your vortex has been growing and expanding and becoming how much attention source energy has put to it this is a real thing and it's real for you and you can have it and this is your creation and these are your ideas and you get to do this but you can't kill it with reality you can't say 
that'll never work because it will if you will let it because the laws of the universe are queued up for it to work how much time do you spend lying in your bed at night and keeping your blood pumping there are things that happen without your attention and so as you accept that all of this is going on and that there is a reality and that it is full of the things that you have created and it will as it has already come from a vibration to the thought of your desire this thought of your desire will turn to real things it will turn to fortunes it will turn to bank accounts it will turn to relationships it will turn to empires it will turn to anything that you want it to turn to these vibrational then thoughts do become things that's what creation is all about and so if you have been a physical human who has been walking around just looking at the things that have already been created you might not be aware of how they got there but we want you to begin to make the association between the thoughts that you've been thinking and what those thoughts are turning to in other words thoughts do turn to things this is the creative process and so we say all of that in the way of just giving you this one statement which is the most important statement that you will ever know your thoughts matter a lot and you can tell by the way you feel whether you are encouraging your creation to become more right before your eyes or whether you are slowing it down it will mature and it will become more because law of attraction and natural momentum say that it must be but you dear hearts have become so adept at beating the drum of what is that you so often do not allow the natural maturation of your own creations when you want it it is supposed to come and it is supposed to surprise and delight you as it does and as you look around your world you know those masters you see them you see those people who come up with an idea about something that has never been before and then sometime later you see it changing the whole face of your society because one person believed in something that nobody else believed in and at first you call them crazy and you often do not like them very much you often see them as rebels but we want you to know each of you has come with the potential of finding your own ideas and allowing source who creates worlds to get behind you like the wind and blow you toward the realization of everything that you want you are supposed to get what you want so sometimes you want to have a debate about materialism versus spiritualism am I not supposed to be more spiritual should I be caring about these things and we say that's a good point when you care about things that you can't figure out how to get you actually work in contradiction to your own allowing the thoughts to turn to things but there is nothing that is more spiritual than the material things that are around you because they are the leading edge of creation and so if you will come to realize that you are a creator but if you will put your emphasis upon how you feel that's how you tend to the nurturing of the beginning of those thoughts and if you care about how you feel and you allow yourself to hold that thought it will become a reality it is our promise to you Esther's husband Jerry he made his transition about four years ago but when Esther met him she was so exhilarated by knowing him because he already somehow had come to understand that thoughts do turn to things and she watched him through the years that she was with him over 30 and she noticed that when he had an idea about something he often didn't talk about it to her in the early stages and she always thought that was odd at first it really bothered her you know you need to let me in on these things in case I don't want to do them <laughs> and he would say precisely precisely why would I talk to you about something before I have enough momentum that you can't stop it from happening and Esther thought that's tricky I don't know if I like that very much but she really had no choice because Jerry was very private about things very contemplative she'd see him sitting at his desk and he'd be sitting and he'd have his notebook out on his table as if he was going to write something really profound and important and she would look sort of as she was walking by she would realize that nothing was written but that he was deep in thought and she used to call him the contemplator because she could see that he was contemplating and as time went by she knew that it wasn't really very nice of her to interrupt his contemplation because if she would say what are you thinking about he would say to her that is really not any of your business 
And she would say, all righty then. I'll go do something way more fun than what you're doing. But later, Jerry wrote a paper and he called it, keep your ideas to yourself until they are fully developed. Because he knew innately, he knew that if his idea was allowed to be nurtured by the absence of resistance, that the energy that creates worlds would infuse it and support it. And that things, wonderful things would come as a result of that. You all were his idea. He knew when he found Abraham flowing through Esther, that this was something worth hearing. And Esther said, if you tell anyone, I will personally kill you. <laughs> because she thought this was weird then. 1985 felt weird, felt really weird. She knew infinite intelligence was flowing. She knew how good it felt. She could feel the power of it unquestioningly. She knew the value of it as they began applying it to her life. She was worried about what people would think of her if she were to allow something so unusual and so magnificent to occur. So Jerry kept her promise for a little while. And then one day he opened his big mouth <laughs> and said to an influential person who was gathering quite a lot of number of people to a conference, would you like to meet Abraham? And Esther looked at Jerry and if looks could kill, he would have made his transition in that moment. <laughs> She could not believe that he was following his dream. She could not believe that the impulse was so strong within him that even though he honored her and even though he knew that she really did not want to have you see her do this, he knew the importance of it. And so what we're getting at here is that there are all kinds of things that you want that you're not even willing to admit that you want because there are resistant ideas around it. You don't want to be seen as weird. You don't want people to really know who you really are. You don't want to be the odd one out. You don't want to be criticized. You don't want to be misunderstood. Maybe you don't want to find failure. There are so many reasons that you don't allow yourself to allow what's in your vortex to grow and evolve and give you the joyous life experience that you were born to live. We just want you to know you were born to live it. And we think it's time for you to come out into the light and allow the desires that are yours to come to full fruition where others can see them, whether they like to see them or not. We are eager to talk with you about anything that matters to you. It is our desire to assist you in releasing resistance that you may have about the things that you desire. This is a wonderful leading edge conversation that we're going to have today which means some things will have never been talked about before. But for those of you who are new to the material or new to a gathering like this, that won't make any difference to you because we will not deliver to you anything that you are not ready to hear. We will give you a vibrational basis and already have done that mostly. And it's our knowing that you're going to be up to speed with the things that we are talking about. And it's also our knowing that you are forever changed as a result of this vibrational conversation things will begin working out for you even better than before because of the resistance releasing that is taking place in a conversation like this one. So what do you want to talk about? Some things, oh wise ones that you are. <laughs>